video and in this video I just want to show you how you can use the mix signature printables. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then <laughs> let me tell you about this. I have released so far two sets of printables which are designed to help you create a reference sketchbook where you can keep track of your paints, your mixtures, color stories, etc. So far there are two sets. One is aimed at swatching. This one that I'm going to show you today is all about mixing. And the next one is going to be about creating color stories, custom palettes, that sort of thing. So that's coming. If you're enrolled in Watercolor Workbook, you will get access to all of these as part of the course. Uh, but if you don't want to enroll in the course and you just want the printables, you can find them uh, in my shop as well. So I'll leave all the links below. I'm going to show you in this video how I suggest using the printables. Of course, you're free to use them however you want. And after I talk about that, you can watch this process in real time. This was a lot of fun, just an idea on how to color the cover. Okay, so just a quick little show and tell of what you can do with these uh, printables and how to use them. So this is just a fun idea on painting your cover page. And then this one, what I had in mind when I created this particular printable is to see how watercolors behave when you combine them. And if you're not familiar, there are some watercolors that flow better than others. And I love playing with that quality of using kind of a pushy color that pushes uh, the other colors away. I particularly like to use this quality when the invaded color, poor choice of, word these, of words these days, is a separating granulating color. And I'll show you what I mean. So I have in my stash uh, quinacridone gold from Core. Core has a formulation that makes their watercolors pushy. It's not just Core, there are also watercolors that just the pigment tends to flow better. So you don't need Core paints, but with Core it's just a very usually expected, um, wanted, in my case, effect. So here you can see you have quinacridone gold, pushing its way into moon glow and you can see the gorgeous effects that you get. On top of it, we have again, is it quinacridone gold? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, with violet hematite genuine from Daniel Smith, which is a gorgeous granulating color. So you can see how the quinacridone gold just like invades this area and I just find this effect mesmerizing. Here it does the same thing with Rose of Ultramarine. That's this color which has um, BP, PB29 which is the ultramarine blue or French ultramarine pigment and it always granulates. So I just love this effect and using it and this page with you know, these like two paint tubes really helps you get a good visual image of that paint's behavior. So what I would do is just like apply your paint to about half the page and then add the other paint and see what happens. And you have a very easy way of knowing which colors love to push each other. Now, if you don't have core paints, but you're interested in this effect, I recommend trying the Core Synthetic Ox Gall. If you add this to one of your colors, that color will, in most cases, push other colors. It's not a 100% thing. You have to experiment. It depends on the brand. It depends on the pigment. It depends on many things. But it can give you that effect. What you want to make sure is that you don't add it to all your paints because it'll just cancel itself out. You want to add it to the color you want to push other colors around. So that's a good option if you don't want to buy core paints. If you have enough colors, um, core is very expensive. So this is worth exploring if this effect interests you. 
So this is how I would use this particular printable. And I would use this one probably the same way. Um, just because I really love seeing that effect. But it also just gives you a nice idea of how the colors look next to each other, how they blend, if they move, if not. So that's a great way of using the tubes. With the other formats, so you can just use these to mix your colors. And I gave you just different options, different sizes, different formats. So you can choose whichever one you like, but the idea is the same. You put one color here, one color here, and then you create different mixtures in the middle, like this example. So that is it. Have fun, play, and yeah, you can always tag me on social media. I would love to see how you're playing with your watercolors, whether you have the printables or not. I'm just here to share the watercolor joy. So now let's move on to the painting process. And this is very straightforward. It's just a lot of fun. Basically, if you want to create something similar, uh, you can hand paint this yourself or you can absolutely use the stamps to create something very, very similar. Uh, the word mix you will have to add, but uh, if you have my sketchbook essentials stamp set, then you also have this tube stamp. And yeah, you can create something similar very, very easily, especially, you know, if you have the stamps and you're not that familiar with your printer, you don't really know how to kind of custom size or change the, 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 the definitions, then <laughs> the stamps are your friends. And I'll do my best to also create something similar with my stamps because I love them too. And honestly, many times I prefer not to sit on my computer and not to fuss with the printer and all that stuff. And uh, using the stamps allows you to do that. So um yeah this is just fun because watching watercolor flow <laughs> is always fun and i'm using my favorite colors here i did have something i wanted to say and it escaped my brain i got a call this morning from microsoft <laughs> I don't know, you know, I'm just like between all the emails that I get from all kinds of like scammers. I mean, it's kind of like you can't help but feel a bit cynical and a bit sick of people trying to take advantage of you or, you know, it's like one thing when there's like people that just come up to you and ask you for money or something like that. At least it's honest, right? But when you get all kinds of calls, I mean, I don't know, maybe the nice guy was from Microsoft and he wanted to help me with my computer, but it's just like <laughs> enough. And it kind of really annoys me when people call my house phone or my mobile phone with all kinds of like scams or, you know, messages that, you know, you have a package waiting, follow this link, like all these things. It's just so annoying. It feels like such an invasion of privacy. And, you know, with mobile phones, I think anyone that expects to, you know, not be like tracked or if you're online, if you're on social media, if you have a mobile phone, companies track you, companies sell your data. It's it's just the reality of our days. But the house phone, come on, people, don't call me there. I mean, that might make me think, do I even need a house phone anymore? But yeah, anyway, <laughs> that was a little bit off topic. Let's talk about watercolors. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to leave you, I think, with some music because I have said all I have to say. Uh, I do want to say a few more things. <laughs> that pop of green always gets me. It's always like, ah, that's what was needed. I feel like that olive green for me is like salt on top of your food. It just makes everything better and everything come together. Uh, I am in the process of creating the next 
signature, which, as I said, is going to be kind of aimed at uh, creating. So the first one I call it swatch, this one is mix, and then I think the third one will be create or curate or something like that. But that's where we're going to play with color stories and color combinations and kind of go beyond that just mixing uh, two colors and seeing what they do, kind of take it to the next level. I really think that having your own curated personal color story, color palette is part of finding your style and creating art that is more unique or uniquely you. It's not the only, you know, ingredient in the recipe, but I definitely think it's an important one. And I know many artists that just have that, you know, you see the colors and you already know um, who made it. Of course, there are other things like the subject, the brush strokes, the techniques, like all those things, it all comes together. But kind of discovering which colors you like and which colors you crave and what combinations you like together. It's still something that doesn't require uh, a lot of skill. So it's actually something you can do rather early in your watercolor journey uh, before you, you know, really master other techniques or figure out other things about your kind of art or what you want to paint. So, uh, and Color stories, you can take them anywhere. I mean, whatever you want to paint, you can always use your colors. Um, at least that's my philosophy. So thank you so much for watching. Now a little bit of music. There's not a lot left to the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye bye.